So, next thing we need to talk about, man, is actually crazy. Big Quando Rondo case update. It is it's actually quite quite sad news if I'm honest with you people. Um I'm a huge fan of Quando. If you saw my recent documentary about Quando Rondo and the whole war in Savannah, you'll know that they get pretty serious in Savannah, but this has recently hit the internet, man. Uh Quando reportedly was locked up. So I believe this was going around a charge of uh on the 9th of December 2023, uh DUI driving under the influence of alcohol. But apparently it's a lot more serious. Apparently it's a fed a fed charge, okay? It says federal he's under a federal hold. He's on federal custody, no local charges. So even though I guess they caught they they pulled him over and gave him a DUI, um he's under a federal hold facing federal charges and it's looking pretty serious. So uh, there's there's a few more links that we're going to be getting into, man. But I'll give you a little quick quick update of what's been going on. So, uh, so look, he was already on probation. He was already in trouble for for some charges that had been going around. All right. Um, where? Well, let me find it. So they've updated his mugshot. Take a look at this. Chatham County deputies gave us Quando Rondo's new mugshot. The 24-year-old rapper's real name is Taekwon Bowman. He was arrested on Friday by the FBI on federal drug charges. Right now, Bowman's spokesperson tells us he's behind bars at a federal facility in Brunswick. He was arrested at Br Burroughs and 37th around midnight on Friday. The specifics of his charges are unclear. We expect to hear more on that on Monday. Prior to the FBI arrest, he was out on bond for state drug and gang charges. Prosecutors say he played a managerial role in the Rolling 60s gang. WJCL 22 has been on top of the story since day one. You can find all of our coverage on our website, WJCL.com. So look, this is going around, man. They, they already had Quando up on these drug charges from a few months ago. So look, this was months ago. We've already spoken about this on the streams uh, and at the end of the documentary. But let's have a little recap. Okay, this was back in June. While I was still working on the documentary, Rondo, Rondo, and 18 others. Okay, just, yeah, the text, now the text disappears. I start reading it. It's great. Um, 18 others indicted on gang and drug charges. The rapper was accused of being the Rolling 60s gang manager. Okay, so they were accusing him of being the head honcho of the Rolling 60 Crips in Savannah, which I've documented heavily in my recent documentary. They were saying he was in a managerial position of the Rolling 60s. Now, these charges dropped initially, and it was a state gang and drugs charge. So, this said that uh, back in June, it was reported that the rapper and 18 other individuals, so that's quite a lot, like that's 19 people, they done scooped up the whole damn team, all right? They were indicted by the Chatham County District's Attorney's Office in a 49-count indictment accusing the group of the Rolling 60s of dozens of crimes ranging from drug charges, gang affiliations, and the use of a cell phone to conduct illegal activity. Quando is being accused of being in a managerial role in his local chapter of the Rolling 60 Crips gang. Now... Quando himself is facing two counts of conspiracy to violate Georgia's Controlled Substances Act, one count of participating in a criminal street gang activity and using a communication facility in commission of a felony involving controlled substances. The indictment notes a specific incident where Quando allegedly traveled to Macon, Georgia to pay a supplier for marijuana. Now, there's, another, there's an element to this story that I want to get into in a second that I don't think people are, are, are super onto, okay? So look, he was already arrested back in June for these charges, uh, but he has apparently been pulled over and uh he's in a he's in a spot of bother but the crazy thing is so there's another piece of footage that's been floating around um body cam footage of Quando's arrest this is i guess a completely different arrest for disorderly conduct in a target so this would have been is this new year's day 2023 the date could be wrong on this but this says that he was arrested on new year's day this this year um for a disorderly conduct <laughs> Are you talking about the one in the bodysuit? Nah, but that was it. Okay, the body she's, suit. she's waiting out for him. She's she's but, out for him. But the y'all just told me I could have known. Alright, you got some ID on you? I ain't got no ID. You ain't got no ID on you? He gave me his name and his birthday. Alright, cool. Alright. Here's what the He kinda wobbling, man. He whatever he on, I need some of that. Cause he kind of well, he kind of wavy right now. They, they call. They said y'all. Not right best on the journey. No, you bitch. can listen to me, or I can detain you and then walk you outside. So what you want to do? What detain me? 
put cuffs on him. I am not going to play a game. Put your money in your pocket. I'm, I'm, dude, I'm not interested in playing games right now. Put it in your pocket. You shouldn't be flinging that stuff around anyway. You know that. People rob you for that. Wow, yeah. who? You. Right. Did you hear what he just said? He said, put your money in your pocket. You shouldn't even be waving that around. People in Savannah will rob you. For that. On him. I, I ain't not going to play a game. Put your money in your pocket. I'm, I'm, dude, I'm not interested in playing games right now. Put it in your pocket. You shouldn't be flinging that stuff around anyway. You know Savannah. People rob you for that. Wow, who? You people for flashing. All right, let's go outside. Yeah. We'll get you on my see, see what Quando says? He said that with people in Savannah will rob you for that. He says, rob who? Uh, like they're going to rob me. Now, look, that don't really play in your defense because the way you're talking, you're saying, Rob, who? What, me, the leader of the local chapter of the Rolling 60s in Savannah, Georgia? Rob me? Like, it's not a good look, really, when you think about it, when you deal with it. People rob you for that. Wow, yeah. who? You. People for flash. All right, let's go outside. We'll get you on my feet. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's some spicy stuff, but look, there's another element of this that I want to explore that I, I don't think people have really cottoned onto, right? So, look. These charges, right, he was already arrested on drug charges back in June for allegedly setting up drug deals and being the local leader of the Savannah Rolling 60s Crips. Now he's been arrested by the FBI on federal drug charges. Now, we don't know the specifics. We don't know too much of the details, okay? But he'd already been arrested on, on this big indictment for, for drug conspiracy. Now, if it's a federal case, that means that they're interested in violations of... Uh, you know, of the law between states federally, not just in Georgia, where they said that he traveled to Macon, Georgia to set up a drug deal. Now, now. I don't know if anybody follows Quando Rondo on Instagram, but you do be seeing big Quando Rondo on Instagram doing a lot of po sponsored posts. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they're going to be on here. I don't know if they're still going to be available, but Quando be doing these posts, all right? They may be a post and delete. But he be doing these posts where he's like, yo, get your packs, get your exotic packs, get your shipped packs, get your packs delivered, all of that kind of stuff. He be doing those posts where he's be shouting out these companies that say that they can deliver and ship packs to you across states. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find it. Man, they'd be deleting, they'd be tweeting and deleting them. But you have, you know what I'm talking about. You know the kind of posts where you see rappers and they'll be like, yo, yo, listen. And it's always like this as well. It's always like this. Let me do the impression. It's always like, hey, man, next time you're in LA, you need to tap in with exotic packs. They'd be shipping the best packs and they'd be landing too. All 50 states, tap in with exotic packs in the link below. You know what I'm saying? If you need the big packs, ship state to state. Tap in with exotic packs. You know what I'm saying? Those posts. I don't know if that's the reason for the Rico, but in all those kinds of interstate pack selling businesses, not a good look. What's up? This is your boy Quando Rondo and shout out Fuel Packs. I need everybody to tap in with Fuel Packs. Go follow their Instagram, check out their Telegram, and they throwing a nice little Black Friday Christmas deal. They giving away loads, so everybody go follow in and tap in with them because they're giving away loads, you did. But you know they got highs, periods, all that, 100 different flavors. Tap in with Fuel Packs, you did. Now. I wouldn't tap him with fuel packs if I was Quando Rondo, if I'm completely honest, if I'm keeping it a buck. Got to be careful with these fuel pack sponsors, man. These packs. Got to be careful with these packs, man. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of the NBA crew promoting these packs. Now, I ain't saying that that's the reason. Now, I ain't saying that's the exact cause of this Rico. But being involved in all them sorts of things, man, it's not a good look. It's not a good idea. So that is the latest on Quando. I don't think there is a major update. Let me see. Uh, let me see if there's an update under Poteway. If you don't know, if you don't know. Okay, all my Shyracologists, if you want, if you want to grab your early ticket, all right. If you want to grab your early ticket. This is uh, this is Shyracology for Savannah, Georgia, right? And there ain't too many people in here, okay. This is this is where the updates be, but I don't think there's been any major updates as far as I can see. Actually, I've already covered the stuff that's in here. Let me just be like new. Anything new? Any details? It's just that mugshot. That's it. But some sense. If there's going to be any updates, it's going to be in here. I believe there's a new. Hey, 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 hey.
Uh, that's some stuff about Quando's ops. We're going to be talking about them soon. But anyway, that's the update, man. Quando Rondo is facing federal charges. It's, it's not looking good, if I'm honest with you. It, it's a little bit concerning. I don't know whether it's these exotic packs getting shipped state to state. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if these rappers started to uh, started to catch cases just for doing these Instagram promos. Because realistically, just because someone pays you 10k, 20k, little five bands to promote some sort of exotic packs on your Instagram... Bro, it could be that could be the death of you, quite frankly, because you are enabling interstate legal commerce, and that's not cool. They're not going to like that. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, you know, I'm saying that's the update on Quando. Uh, hope you guys find that interesting. You know, what I'm saying I just wanted to jump on here, do a quick update, check in with the big mic situation, um, and yeah, that's uh, you know, what I'm saying that's the latest.